Welcome everybody to, to where are we? Can Hammer, <laughs> your source for Sigmar from the Great Wide North. We are here for part two of Day Hammer, the yeah, best kind of hammer. <laughs> My compatriot Francois in the house. We're gonna be playing a game of Sigmar of the Gloom Spike Git versus the Daughters. Actually, this is only the second time I've played the Daughters, and the first time was like a thousand point learning game. So uh, Maybe I have a chance. <laughs> I don't even. I, I'm not super familiar with the rules, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have it. We're gonna have a go. And uh, Francois, it's been a while since you played the Gits. Yeah, I've been playing mostly Skaven recently, so yeah, it's been a while. Because a uh, rapid fire release and loyalties pulled, and mm -hmm. you know, because this battle tome came out, and then two months later, the Skaven battle yeah. came out. Yeah, <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're gonna set up here and get going. We'll come back with the army lists. Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. All right, daughters are bringing the heat. We've got. Uh, Marathi here. Marathi's got Mind Razor. There's the alternate form of Marathi. The general is actually the Slaughter Priest on uh, Slaughter Queen on Cauldron. She's the general. Iron Circlet. That's the one that gives me reroll ones on the prayers. And Devoted Disciples is my command trait for being Hagnar on my Hagnar army. And um, something else. Yeah. Anyway. And then uh, I've got three Hag Queens, each with a different prayer. Um, and so I got all the prayers covered basically. And then um, here we have a unit of 30 Sisters of Slaughter with the banner and the, the horn as usual. Then we have a unit of 10 Sisters of Slaughter uh, as usual, banner and horn. And then we've got a unit of 30 Witch Elves again with the banner and the horn. Then we've got two units of five Kinnere Heartrenders. I am running the Slaughter Troop. Um, which uh, gives me a bunch of things, and um, that is basically my list. So uh, we'll come back with Francois's army. All right, here we got the gets. All right, what we got here, Francois? Okay, so we have. Uh, let's start with my general, Scragot the Loon King. Scragot the Loon King. He is uh, really, really good. He gets to uh, manipulate the movement of the moon, which is why you take him. Okay. I don't know if he's exactly not to take because he's expensive, but he's pretty good. Okay. Then I have a Loon Boss on Mangler Squig. Yeah. Yeah. Big model, beautiful model, nice. wrecking ball. He has the Doppelganger Cloak. That's gonna. Hopefully, make sure he doesn't die without doing anything. Yeah. Once a game, he gets. To... <laughs> Once a game, he gets to not be activated against until he goes. Yeah. Uh, now I have the Flamboid Cave Shaman. Yeah. He's a caster and he generates command points. And I have a regular Loon Boss. Okay. The Loon Boss is there to help support my big unit of sixty rots right yeah. there, nine nets yeah. and filter the gills. In this unit is going to be some fanatics. Now that's supposed to be a secret, but there's only one unit that can legally be in, which is that unit. So five Loon Smash of fanatics there. And five spore splatter fanatics. Now what these do is they uh, once they're if they're within range of these guys uh, at the beginning of the phase they give them plus one attack. Okay. Um, so that's pretty good. Then I have two units of ten Boingrot bounders. Okay. Uh, these are really hard hitting troops. They do mortals on the charge. Really really good. Yeah. Running out of the army just for battle line reasons. I have a small unit of squig herd mm -hmm. and a medium sized unit of squig herd over there. Okay. And then I have an endless spell. I have Mark's mighty uh, mushroom. Uh, yeah. You have fond memories of that mushroom. Oh yeah, well, yes. <laughs> I think did like forty mortals or something. Yeah. Too, yeah. And then of course you've got. And of course I have my loon shrine. This thing. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, that's a great list. We'll come back with the mission. Cool matter there. Okay, so we're playing be um, better part of valor. Six objectives. And if you hold it, if you burn it, you get one point. If we hold it for one turn, two turns, two points, four points, eight points. So it keeps doubling the longer you hold it, but you don't get any until you burn it. Yeah, this is damned. And that's uh, six objectives there set up, and it's a this wide deployment. So uh, what we're going to do is roll off for deployments. Yep. Two. Four. Four. Which side would you like? I'm lazy, so I'm going to stay on this side. Okay. And uh, so that means I deploy? I start the point? Uh, Yes, I believe so. Okay, so we'll come back at the end of deployment. I'm pretty sure I have more drops. Oh, yeah, it's naked, naked. It's naked. Okay, so end of deployment. Uh, I've deployed my cauldron there and just my sister uh, elves and sisters there with hags. Marathi's right up front to do some denying. And then uh, I've got a hag over here with the sacrament of blood pow uh, prayer and a unit of 10 sisters over there. It's kind of away from everything. And. Uh, Heart renders in D-Strike and Marathi in pieces because I just dropped her on the floor and she shattered. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to give Francois first turn. Of course you are. Have a good game, man. You too. All right, we'll come back uh, at the end of movement phase for the Gits. Turn one. Okay, uh, Gits uh, turn one, basically. We did the whole turn because it was very fast. 
Uh, did you get anything off? You got Mystic Shield off. Yeah, that's the Gratz. That was I denied very, the other stuff. Very poor. Uh, I forgot though. about the little pistol dude and just saw Marathi through here and took off two wounds. And now she's got whatever loon curse she's or something. Cursed now, yeah. She takes a wound at the end of every battle round. So yeah. she's down to four. And I just rolled at the beginning of my turn. She's not transforming. And that's it. And no, no, nothing scored. So still 0-0 zero, zero, going zero, to zero, bottom zero. of turn one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, end of uh, hero phase for daughters turn one. I managed to get all my buffs off on the daughters, so that's three prayers and the mind raiser on it's them. Disgusting. So is what it is. they're very buff. So disgusting. I thought, fuck it, let's just go. And then obviously <laughs> the fanatics have popped out. Um, these guys, everyone's moved in advance and kind of staying around this area. These guys just moved in advance. These guys got buffed with something that I probably won't need, and they stay put. So, uh, we're going to see what happens. Yep. Coming back. Okay, end of my turn. I killed 28 Grots and lost 13 uh, Witch Elves in response. I will take that trade. Um, does it look like I have 30 Witch Elves? I um, lost 13. You should have 17 left. No. So. Yeah, I should have 17 left. So you have 10 left. <laughs> oh. So you didn't, have, I didn't start with the right... You didn't start Do I got any enough. Witch Elves in there? You didn't start with enough. Okay. Through that again, it's not gonna be. Okay, yeah. So I don't know why I didn't have enough, which but it looked like I lost like way more than that. So there we go. There's uh, there's my. We should uh, put some more back in. My witch elves <laughs> left, and then the grots, and no no thing scored, and uh, oh, this well, as it is. There. So yeah. end of the first one. Let's see what happens with the roll off for priority. Three and three. So every you guy, get to choose. I'll take it. All right. So grots going. Uh, gets going second. Top of turn two for gets. Okay. These guys are gonna make sure they're all. All right. Gets turn two. Uh, hero phase, this crazy mushroom was cast, but only did five mortals yep, that was underwhelming. Uh, on these ladies here. And then uh, Marathi took one at the end of the last round, which so was down to three. And then um, uh, what else was cast? So Mystic Shield was denied. Yep. You did uh, three wounds to this hag green, green with green spike. some kind of Two green wounds. spike. She's down to three. Two wounds, yeah. And then movement phase, this guy jumped over here. These guys jumped over there. And the moon is here so they can run and charge. moon's in this quarter so they can run and charge. And these guys fell back and those guys didn't roll very well and they went over there. Because these guys all have random movement. Yep. So can't be good or can't be bad. And nothing else moved. Okay. So we're going to move these. Let's see what back happens back. at the end of the round. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, end of uh, Git's turn two. Uh, that witch unit uh, died. Eventually, this dude did like. Well, you killed most of them. Yeah. Yeah. You killed like 17 girls. He used um, 300 points. Those Boingrath killed like two or yeah, three. Yeah, they really whiffed. And then they got, and then they got ganked. Yeah. They um, really whiffed hard. But then uh, this guy killed almost all of them. I got one witch left and uh, survived. And then that's about it. I think. Um, yeah, what else happened? Nothing that's really it. much yeah. else happened, right? Well, the mushroom this, did this thing went off. We did five. About that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and uh, because I held this and he's just got in there, we're tied now. Um, we should look that up, but I think it's, you have to take it from me. So you so. have to hold it for uh, me to I'll burn. look it up while you do your movement, but yeah. I, I, think, I think contesting doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll come back at uh, uh, bottom of two for daughters. Okay, uh, so I've moved these uh, sisters over here. Else, yeah. And... Uh, there's a Marathi hut transformed, and uh, she's over here with six wounds left. This uh, slaughter cauldron's over there. That person stayed in there. I did spend a CP to have her attack, and she did uh, one wound. I think she did one wound. Yeah, she did do one wound. And then these headwinds have moved back. These guys are slightly buffed. They have Blessing of Cain, and they have the uh, Martyr Sacrifice, the mortal wounds when he die. The question is, now they have... They have bladed buckler, so they already have that. So then the question is whether or not that would trigger it twice, but probably not because it happens at the same time. And so I choose which goes first. And then by the time the second one goes, they're already dead. It was already dead. I don't know. We can probably roll dice for it. But... No, nah, probably not. And then uh, these guys just spread out over here, and they didn't get any buffs. And that's it. So we will. Oh, and the heart renders dropped in over there. Um, and I did uh, mind raise them as well. Yeah, because you tied me. You didn't deny that one. Okay, so mind raids are off on them as well. Okay. Um, we'll come back at the end of the turn. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. I did manage to kill this thing, but he had double Glanger, which I forgot. He ended up killing, uh, what, nine? That was a bit seven, of a seven girls. And then, um, that's about it. So, and then it, it explodes and done a, done a few mortal wounds. I managed to kill, actually, a surprising number of grots with these mm -hmm. things shooting. You killed nine. Yeah, yeah, it rolled really well, though. Yes. Um, and then they just kind of moved around. I didn't want to charge in and kill myself. And then, uh, that's about it. Marathi took another one from this moon thing, so it's down to five. And that's it. So, that's the end of round two. 
Let's see what happens. I roll a four, you roll a one. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Woo. That was actually kind of clutch. On though. to Gets turn three. Yeah, that was in charge. So uh, Gets turn three. Uh, some psychics and shooting. Taken, uh, what, six, seven guys from this unit. It's pretty good. Yeah. And then those guys shuffled around there to take care of those heart renders. And these guys moved around there. And these bounders are moving up there. Because <coughs> this objective is open now. And that's about it. So we'll come back at the end of this turn. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Five, okay. Six, so uh, Git's turn. Basically, just uh, kill some more of these I have guys. Oh, I will your morale there now. Morale there. Five, so five, four, six, run away. So four, run away. Yeah. Basically gone. Okay, so that unit really whittled down. Uh, that unit heart render's gone, and that's about it. So uh, it's gonna be bottom of four coming up. All right, daughters, turn uh, bottom of three. Uh, so these people all moved up here. Marathi had to advance. These things advanced, but these ladies did a pretty good advance, so they're in a, what, seven, right? Seven is charged. Seven is charged, yeah. These guys just moved here to take some shots on those fanatics. And these guys did also a good advance in there, a three inch charge from these dudes. Uh, this lady moves over here and though she's gonna die at the end of this turn. She's cursed! Unless, she unless she makes her, uh, unless she makes her, uh, she makes pain. And these guys all advanced up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the last ditch to try and take this game. Let's go, bottom three. See you at the end. I think. Okay, end of my turn. Uh, not that great. Uh, I killed, what, 10, 10 gits? Yeah. There's still a whole bunch of them left and the boss's characters in there. I killed what, a couple of those fanatics. And uh, that's about it. I lost most of that unit in response. I've only got four left. This unit got wiped after only killing two guys and lost another two to morale. So that's kind of crappy. And then, um, oh, at the end of this round, she will die, right? Yeah, unless she makes her feel good. Zigs up. <coughs> okay, so she's dead too. And she also, she takes a wound. Oh, Marathi takes another one, so she's down to four. Yeah. That uh, loon curse from the moon on the stick is really nasty. Yeah, well, I forgot about that shooting in the first round, and then that's when you leap. I'm gonna triple check it on your In fact, after the end of each, yeah. And each of, yeah, each battle round. It okay. Just goes on. So, uh, so at the end of my turn, there's nothing scored yet, so it's all gonna come down to like this is roll. <laughs> initiative roll, basically, because none of us have scored any objectives yet. Nope. Um, so, in this round, they're all gonna be worth one, two, and four, round three. No, round four. Round one is worth one. Eight. Round two is worth two. Round three is worth four. Each of is worth eight this round. Yeah. So this is kind of key. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Can I win one ah, of these? You can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I break dice. Okay. <laughs> okay. I take it. Woo That's probably game, but let's see how it goes. Uh, four for Gitz. All right, so we played out a quick turn four. Basically, he managed to hand a Gork that guy over yeah, there. These guys would move. These guys would have moved so onto here six. and burn those two, and that's game over, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. and then burn that one. So then and I, that burn, one. I burn this, this, that. You would burn five objectives. Yeah. So that would have been game over. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think? Uh, this was an interesting battle plan. It was we had to really be careful about what we were doing, right? Because the objectives are just worth more and more and more, and you got to time what you're gonna do. But it really came down to the mobility of sending and of gorking my shaman yeah. there. Like what I should have done was just to stay back here. Yeah. And wait till you come to me. And if you don't come to me, then it's a tie game. <laughs> but that's kind of boring. That is kind of boring. And you know what? <laughs> Look at this carnage. There's basically you. You killed fifty. Four but I didn't gross. kill that unit. Not the unit. I didn't no. kill that unit. The yeah. 60 grots is it's kind of so tough when hard to kill. Too, because it's because of this. so hard to kill. Yeah. And they did some good work. Uh, the bounders with there, but between the mangler and them, I actually I cleared out a lot of things there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, did they have the uh, reflect morals? They did, because of the bladed bucklers. Uh, right, so you, you, sh you could have rolled that, but it wouldn't yeah. have changed. I would have killed maybe a few more grots. Yeah, I, I still would have had more near the objective, so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, there's lots of people who don't like this battle plan because uh, some armies like Deepkin or whatever can just clear off one or two objectives in your yeah. phase and in the first turn, burn them, and then you just have to hold theirs for one turn and it's game over. But um, for this, for we were pretty evenly matched here. I think that was that could have gone either way. Yeah, yeah. Like I could have just stayed in my zone as I said, and then it would have been a really boring game. Yeah. Um, well, then I would have just you know sniped you with the moon on a stick every well, time. Well, yeah, I could have moved back though. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. 
<laughs> didn't end up doing that much. I mean, he has 220 points, right? So. Yeah, but he's good. He controls the moon. Yeah. He's a good caster. Yeah. Uh, he's got the little sniper weapon. Like, yeah. he's actually not bad. No. Uh, there certainly were characters for that amount of I, um, uh, points. I was forgetting my rules with Brett left and center, but I think I played everything right. If you saw yeah. anything wrong, please leave us a comment. I definitely didn't play it right, I think. Um, I don't well, know. You, there's a lot of complicated rules interactions in the Dollars yeah. Army. Yeah. So um, I, I have sure. no idea if I played it right because I don't know this army. But um, you know, this is your first outing with it, right? So it's going to be a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure, that was super fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that bat rep. We will be back um, later tonight with another game, and um, yeah. So uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And